Good evening, my friend, and good to see you once again. The program now is Let's Talk About It with, with King Emmanuel on the Incubator Media Radio, and you can find us on www.theincubatormedia.com. It is time to discuss now. What do you have in mind? What are things that bothers your mind? What are the things that you feel is not going the way you want, or things you see you can do better but it seems the energy or willingness is not there let's discuss about them you can write to us you can reach out to us as we bring our programs onto you at this particular time and for today we'll be discussing about anger anger why people behave the way they behave why do you get angry? And some people said, I deserve to be angry. Others said, no, you don't have to. And the confusion is on. We are not taking side. But let's sit down and look at what anger is. What causes anger? What are the factors that lead to anger? Then the effect of anger both on you and the recipient and then if we look at it and we see the results are bad what can you do to get out of anger what can you do someone said i've tried over time not to be angry but i still find myself there that is that is a way out on what you you can do today we will share in this uh, series Follow up with us. I'll be discussing with my friend Adeola Adenero on this subject of anger. Thank you very much. You have to put them back the way I put them. You don't do that. I may not allow you to come into my house again. Okay. Do you understand? Be like, I get so mad. So, you have to open an amount like, excuse me, this is going to the extreme. Initially, it was a good principle that sets you in order, that makes you plan. But hey, now it's going to the extreme, to the point that she's now seeing herself as not being too accommodating. Because of the principle. Because of the territorial space. space. So, they set the space. Like, no, even if I'm going to people's house, like maybe I'm going to a friend's house and in another place or something, I go with my pillowcase because I don't want to absorb all the sweat on their pillowcase. Do <laughs> you understand? Yes. So, there are little, little, little things, sort of, but they build up over time. So, the same thing with all these, all these spaces. Okay, this is my room. That's not the room that you are paying for. Mom and dad is paying for this pay. Or they build out that house and they put you in that room. And then all of a sudden, mom, mom, mom just walks in and just say, Excuse me, mom. I'm grown. You don't, you don't, you knock before you come into my room. My. And most of the time it's always personalized. Mm-hmm. My room. And then the sister just walks in and did you just take out of my candy? Hmm. And then the just came and just well, wait, wait a minute. Is that not my dress? Who gave you the other city or the whatever? And then all the grammar and the English will come out and the vocabularies will come out at that time to express your displeasure for invading your privacy or your space. So this the territorial space of a thing is a big, big, big issue. It starts gradually, but along the line it becomes so built up and people can just like they say, habits originally will form them. Later they form us. Yes. Initially they are our um, uh, Slave, but when they now come in their full form, they become a dangerous master. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. So, so, so great. So, so great. Um, I just sit down there looking at it and and another question that comes into my mind is this. Some of the causes of anger that we've observed, majority of them has, you know, got to do with myself, personal thing. And would I be wrong if I said over time most of the causes of anger are selfishness? You may, you may, I, I won't, I won't naturally call it selfishness. But like I said, the, the, the key thing there is this. We set the rules. We set the rules. Okay, let me give you an example. A young person was discussing with me about three weeks ago. And like, what is my problem? I mean, she was asking herself. What is it that things that a lot of other people just go on with, I take it personal, and I and I and I and I've destroyed friends, destroyed relationships, I've destroyed that even my mom told me that this may affect you when you get married. He said, why is it that I found it hard to overlook things? Not things that are sinful, but I found it hard to overlook things. And I said, you have so much said loss. That's why as we go on, as we I hope I hope you'll be able to ask me that question as to part of the things that people can do so some of the because you need to ask yourself some of these thought provoking questions mm. what makes you angry mm. what 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 makes you angry is that are, are they the things that you yourself are they the things that you did or you put on yourself are they the principles are they the are they the laws that you that you put on yourself to say hey you know you know what this, you know some people like myself initially i used to have a lot of problem when people is all right all right yes. by my side people is too, as expression of uh, when you yeah. when you when people is by my side I get totally irritated. And I'll be like, excuse me. And I'll tell you, what's the problem? What's the problem? Why are you why are you what's what's the frustration in your life that is causing you to be hissing unnecessary like this? But as I grew on, as I read more, as I look at a lot of things, and I discovered that hey, look, that thing it was myself that made it an issue don't get me wrong there are the moral standard that is the goal standard there are etiquettes but then there are some things that ordinarily you shouldn't make it's like making a big deal out of nothing and I see a lot of people they just ease around them and they just What's their business? They go with their life. And, he's, and then I am I am getting unnecessarily agitated. And most times the person that did something is enjoying his life and here I am. Battling with myself. Battling battling with with, with myself. So <laughs> funny, isn't it? Yeah. So that's just some of this. So when people said this big plenty plenty rules rules that nobody sent them to send some in their subconscious mind it's not that they put it down in writing because the part of what i told this guy was go write down and maybe when we get to the part of the solution yes. go write down what gets you hmm. Hmm. and 
can I tell you this? You did something, somebody did something now, you get, oh, you react and all that and all that and all that about it. One hour later, after the incident, if you review it again, if you review it again, because I did that, if you review it again, your reaction, one hour later, to that same thing, will not be the same reaction. Absolutely. From experience. Sir. Yeah. Take it further. Eight hours later, go back and look at that thing. Your reaction eight hours later will be like, what was I so, so doubt? I mean, what's wrong with me? 24 hours later, you'll be making fun of yourself. Doesn't, doesn't really an issue. A friend was having an issue with his with his marriage and we were just talking and I said and he told me and I said, hey look, I'm not a marriage counselor, I don't know jack about it. But hey, I'm a firm believer in communication. You both go on a personal retreat. Let the woman talk and you talk. Tell him, tell her what you're going to do. That I want to listen to you, not hear you. I want to listen to you. See everything. And I promise you, even though what you say may not be totally true, I will not defend myself. I will not defend anything. I say it's hard though. It's very, very hard to do. But because you want to go through a process that will make things work. And then tell the woman to let her also understand. Strike a deal. Deal, deal, fine. They went. He said, when he came back, I didn't even know. I mean, I was just talking. When he did he eventually he did that. And then he came back and was like, oh boy, you are a genius. You are a, you are a seer or something. I said, what do you mean? He said, guess what? We were just at the end of the thing. We were just laughing at our foolishness. Mm. 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 He said, what what the woman what the what the woman said? And I'm mean, like, when I was now, when it was my own turn to, to talk, and I'm saying hey, you did this and I it wasn't like that. That was not the way I I that was not what he, at the end of the day. They were just looking at their as they like we've been shy this all this while. Mm. I didn't understand. So that's just um how it is with uh, so some of those. So sometimes too when we delay a reaction or response sometimes we can do pretty better but i'm sure our listener may be itching no, towards I will not, I will not, I will, yes it's, it's, it's better but but at the same time uh um if somebody does something wrong or something that in a way you don't like i think it's best to to tell the person depending on the on the tone and the approach to tell the person and then let it go. But if it is something that you can just overlook, then because the more you because the more you because most time we believe that when we are quiet about it, the problem will go away. No, it doesn't. Ninety nine percent of the time, the problem doesn't go. Away. The thing is, it continue to build. They continue. You just wish that okay, when I just whatever it will it will it will naturally on its own just find the way and go. Mm-hmm. So that's why you see we hear people say uh, after something has happened to them they say the more I think about it the more annoying it gets. Thank you very much and uh, coming now again having the discussed about anger to this point look at what anger is as expressed uh, causes of anger now can we now look at effect of anger 
on the one that is angry and on the one that anger has been expressed towards all right so and we're going to look at them one after the other we talk about withdrawal the physical symptoms psychological reactions mm, excessive thinking struggle and uh, you know all kinds of things so I, I will allow you a bit to discuss about effect of anger that when eventually it happens what are the effects do you know people who do who study who do medicine and all that tells us more I mean tells us that anger have a lot of effect on our health people who who are who keep malice more have more tendency to develop ulcer tendency to develop ulcer yeah, more wow more wow than than you know why because I did something wrong. I did something. You, you classify what I did as wrong. All of a sudden, you want to eat. I pass by. You saw me. Your moods change. Okay. You lost interest in the mail. They have the it, it it leads to headache. Headache. So there are people who study all that I don't know know much about all this science, I mean this medicine of the thing, but I've read where they talk about all these things and how it related to to health. Maybe I would maybe when I look back into my life I should be able to see that forward it to you those things and and how it relates to 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 health Mm -hmm. now when people are angry part of the effect like you said withdrawal the person just the the person just withdraw and when you look when you look at withdrawal that's like the is the least effective way of dealing with anger Mm -hmm. you know why because people just they did something they don't like leave the presence of the parents walk into the room, lock the door, hello, hello, the mother is calling, the father is calling, leave me alone, I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to have anything to do with you, all right then, food is ready, I'm not hungry, I want to be alone, I want to be alone, and all that, and some of these people, they, they hide the problem by drinking, hmm. Or they pretend. Oh, are you? No, 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 no. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. So, withdrawal is one of the. And of course, like I've said, the same thing about the health. That's under the physical symptom. Like I said, headache, ulcer. People have had accidents as a result of anger. Yes. Why they just get out and then they got on the wheel and they are driving. Boom. They had an accident. And then they are gone. And then we look at the psychological, I mean, physiological reactions. For example, it leads to when people become angry, sort of to, to some point, it leads to depression. It leads to depression. They are interrelated. It leads to depression. It leads to tension. People are tense. They are. They are. They are. They are seriously tense. And and things like that then it makes people to to go into much thinking much thinking because you are you are ruminating over what has been done to you over and over and over and over and over again and then before you know it you can either get into self-pity begin to pity yourself and all that or you can get into the the top of uh, of revenge you can get out look at what he did look at uh, look at this look 
like that and looking at revenge and, and things like that and then of course there is spiritual struggle the person is angry he comes to church he can't even pray he can't even hear anything the message is going on he's thinking look at what he did to me look at what she did to me how I'm going to this da 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 blah blah blah, blah stuff like that then uh, attacking a substitute attacking a substitute <laughs> sometimes ago we, had, we, we were in a program and I saw a, a little girl walking out with, uh, with I could see it on her face so I went to meet her hello dearie how are you say I'm not fine I say yeah see that what happened is it not my friend they did this and this and this and that and that oh okay what they did to me was not enough for her to be so i just changed the topic and be like okay is it all right if you just what, what class are you told me the class is it okay that if you can just tell me maybe one or two things about yourself okay this is i don't change the topic all over again and i say do you have an anger problem? He said, ah, yes, I do. I said, wow. So when you get angry, what do you do? He said, I look for the most precious things that is around me, and I destroy it. Wow. And guess how old this girl was as at that time? 14. 14. So guess what? I said, jokingly, I said, wow. Then I need to hide my head because my head is precious to me. And I'm with you right now and you're angry. You may end up chopping off my head. And then she started laughing. You understand? So people when they when they that's why you see them they, they're angry because attack a substitute. The the mother did something wrong to the father. He's bringing it down to the daughter. Yeah, what the mother did using it. Mm. Somebody did something wrong to a particular person, is attacking the other member of the family. Mm. Mm. It's attacking other member of the family. Mm. So people like that they attack a substitute. Then there is also the 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 uh, like the desire you want to embarrass the person i've also talked about this before there is the physical and the verbal expression that's why you see people sometimes they resort into into drinking you see that in, you see that in the movie the person gets into the house and then he just carry a bottle of whatever and he starts he's taking it he say ah oh, oh, he did that to me he did that to me i'm not gonna take it i'm not gonna take it and then he take another drink again and then he pour before you know it he finish a bottle he finish another bottle is this is that and then in the moment he just ah i'm going to deal with him i'm going to get into the car drive boom. accident so people get into all sort of things baba expression they say things that ordinarily they shouldn't have said children to children friend to friend secrets that a friend told you in confidence because you are hungry with a friend you just come out there upload it on social media or you just come out there and begin to lambas him or her to, to his or her face and say that what the person confided in you in secret to blow it out in the open and then you are giving that person cause never to trust anyone again on his or her life because he trusted you with his or her life but because you are you are angry now because of what happened you just go out there you begin to say all sort of things and and and, and stuff like that. so those are some of the ways the effect of anger and what it does to to the to the person well this is uh, really great and and like you rightly said some when they are angry they begin to drink and they drink so much excessive since some that they smoke and smoke and some eventually even go to the uh, back of a wheel and uh, drive themselves to death so that, that shows that 
you need to be careful. You need to be careful. You find you'll be offended. Fine, you've been hurt. But then, don't take your life because of one event, one incident that happened. Don't lose your life. Don't lose your mind. The person may change tomorrow. Tomorrow may be better. And that's why before we go into solution, because I know some of you are interested, okay, tell us more about the solution to getting angry. We want to look about some fact about anger. Fact about anger. And I will be throwing it back a thing. Is it possible to be angry and not sane? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Then not all anger is sinless. Yes. That means that means again, that means if it's possible to be angry without sin, it's equally possible to be angry and sin. Absolutely. Then I will equally, you know, be asking again that what is the role of self control in all this? Okay. No, no problem. Now for the first one you said, um is it possible to be what? Angry, so angry without sin. Without sin. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is it Ephesians 428 now says we should be angry and sin not? I, the other time I said I want to say something controversial, and this is where I'm going. I think it was uh, Tim Lai that said it. That, and that's that, that's Tim Laie or, or Stephen Covey when he, uh, one of them said it, but I can't quite really remember now. He said, People don't make you hungry, you choose to be hungry. People don't make you angry, angry. but you choose, you choose to be angry. angry. Wow, what does that tell you? Anger is a choice. Happiness is a choice. So if you heed your happiness on people, situations, chances are you will be sad for the rest of your life. But you make it the point that, hey, you know what? I chose this. I chose why I say people don't make you angry, you choose to be angry is because when you separate the person, like I was discussing with some student, I say separate the person from the issue. Don't match the two together. Don't match the person. Sorry, I'm just I'm gesticulating. I, I do that a lot. Don't match the person and the issue to gender. You've been friends with this person for for more than 10 years. He did something to you. And then what the person did based on your on your to you or general whatever is wrong your reaction to what the person did is all about you so don't say don't oh i'm gonna throw away 20, 10 years of friendship because of he is a bad person but all these 10 years there are so many good 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 things that you have derived mm -hmm. that's why you stay this long yes. as friends yes yeah as, uh, except if it's just friends with benefits separate the person from the issue you choose and i'm still repeating it you choose to be happy that's why i made that example four guys are going on the street they saw a lady
some may just look at it and be like, I don't see anything. Why to one? That may be promise word. And be struggling at that moment. Why those friends are going with the person that she saw. That's why sometimes you just people going and then they say, ha. Ah. Or some ladies going and they say, look at that guy, he's cute. And you just hear one say, whoa. Oh, Lord. But to this person, oh, that person is cute. So, meaning that it is an individual choice. We have a choice in all of this. Bible says, be angry and sin not. Be angry at the sin, but not the sinner. Be angry at what the person did. That's the difference between constructive and destructive criticism. Be angry at what, hey, excuse me, you want to do bad things to me. I don't like, I don't like that thing. But I don't hate you. Because I know that there are good elements in you. You are angry at what the person doing but not at the personality that's why Bible say you should be angry but don't sin where it becomes and I say not all anger is sinless so you cannot say that not uh, you see Bible say that we should be angry and sin and then what do you do you mean you slander, you revenge, you pull down, you hurt the person, and all that. When Bible is mentioning sin, it calls anger a sin. What makes that the anger that it referred to as sin? It is because of the effect what you did as a result of what the person has done to you, that you perceive the person done to you. Recently I was reading the Kassin book all over again. Uh, uh, you have a brain. And then he will now talk more about his problem with anger growing up. And the day that he nearly killed his friend because he was angry over nothing. That he used this knife in his hand to shoot the friend at the belly only for the belt, the buckle of the belt that was a saving grace. That was where he, the, the knife hit instead of the belly. Otherwise, the friend would have been dead. He said, The friend looked at him in shock and he too. That he had to go and lock himself up in the toilet for four hours and he started praying. He said, He was like 10, 12 years old at that time and he started praying and said, God. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a problem. There are some people who that anger is not their problem. They get angry. But there are some that it's like it's, it's, it, 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 that's why it is like a problem to them. He says so he locked himself up in the toilet for four hours and he was crying and was praying to God. And of course, grace had to come in and did what he what he did. And then and I say sinful anger is irrational and pointless. It's irrational. He just oh the person did this and then he just want to go ahead and do it. Now the, the, the difference between the difference between sinless, I mean the anger without sin and the general anger I'll, I'll just state them out that number one the one without sin is controlled and with, is with a purpose is controlled and with a purpose number two is not based with hatred resentment no hatred it's not selfish base it's not selfish 
then is is to correct the action of the person just like when you say constructive and destructive criticism you are not personalizing it there's a difference between I don't I hate what you did and I hate you I hate what you did or I hate you Two things entirely. Then is at is an expression of okay. The one without sin is an expression of care. Yeah. You are the what you did was whatever, but you are better than this. I I had so much trust, expectation from you and you and things like that. And then before you know what is happening, the person is not even feeling because most times you just by the time you yell by, you don't give the person room for repentance, and at the same time you don't give him room to realize what he did. He also feels that his personality is being attacked. He also wants to get back. So when you shout in the person doesn't give him room he also he also wants to get, to, back. to get back he also wants to get back i had i had last year i had it on bbc the story of a woman whose best son best son happened to join the the military in france and then he was the woman was the, the son wanted to get something and then happened to find himself in a radicalized area environment and one of the guys just got the sun down and the woman said something that that boy was the, was like that boy should have come a woman a female that it was his her eyes everything they had dreams together and that, that woman suffered and that woman suffered to raise the child but you know what as at that time the woman said for eight years she was wishing and hoping wishing and hoping that this guy would die the one that killed the son because they arrested him and put him in prison but later she had the courage to just go and meet the boy in the prison and ask him, why did you kill my son? Why did you do that? And then that one now told the woman, I did not know that he was this, this, that, that, and that, and that. I took him for something else. And that was why I did what I did. And now I'm sorry. The woman said, okay, tell me about your life tell me about yourself you see by the time this person opened his mouth and begin to talk about it's like that woman was the one because that woman got an award in france the french president gave that woman one of the highest i don't know the name they call it the highest award that they give to individuals because of what the woman was doing to now read that to change the those radical guys to change their mindset and things like that he said that man that that guy that killed his son is now an adopted son you understand but she said for eight years she wanted revenge and if she had done that she would achieve no purpose because at the end of the day after doing the revenge this is what i this is what i found out you don't get the satisfaction you feel that you want after you have finally got your revenge the satisfaction that you feel that you want you still end up not getting it there's a part of it that i still feel like okay yeah okay now nah, after Worse. <laughs> and, and and some revenge will go on from generation to generation mm. because this one oh, okay you did this okay fine it's coming up this is coming up that's how this my feel so in italy that's how they they became 
what it is they want it to be. You understand? So is is um, you are looking at like I said the expression of of yeah. but uh, when I say that uh, what was that that uh, okay then I then finally I say self control is a primary issue. Self control control is primary issue issue. <sighs> Stephen Covey said in his book The Third Alternative. He said between an action and a reaction there is a pause. An action is what has been done. A reaction is We've come to the end of the section today. I hope you've been able to see one or two things. Things you need to improve. Possibly you pick up things that you need to change from. Part of your attitude that you need to improve. Anger would not give birth to a good living. Give birth to a life that you desire. Why don't you stand up today and say no to anger until I come your way next time on this same radio station I am King Emmanuel I am saying goodbye if you have questions we can be rich on all our social media and you can listen again to this episode by clicking on the www.thecubitormedia.com You will see it there and you need someone to talk to or you need a counseling our phone numbers are there 0809 and you can equally get across to us too you can get me on Facebook on Twitter on LinkedIn at the King Emmanuel for Lauren Show. I will be happy to be of help to you. Till we see you next time.